bounced back a little bit. Had a little bit of a rough outing in his first uh, Luther Williams debut with the bacon uh, only got three strikeouts in that outing and just could not find the strike zone when he did it was sitting a little fat and it was being roped out into center, center field or right field so he's going to look look to bounce back against this Florence lineup that the bacon have had trouble quelling here in the past couple days fly ball right field over is the newcomer Jackson Holder and he makes the grab so the Bacon get out of the top half of the first inning, but two runs come across. They've got work to do. We go to the bottom of the second with the Flamingos up two to nothing. Three, two, Chopper over to Reed Brown. He's gonna take it to himself, to the bag, and the inning is over. So the Bacon squander a runner in scoring position. We'll go to the top half of the second inning, a two to nothing lead for the Flamingos. Fly ball into center. This is going to score another run, but on the other end of it is Antonio Brown. It's four to nothing lead for Florence. So it'll be a deuces wild count. Here's the pitch. There's a rope right over into the glove of Jared Jenkins at the hot corner. Ivan Ailey tips the cap and says, thank you very much. He'll walk off the mound, but two more runs given up to the Flamingos as they make the lead a little bit wider. We go to the bottom half of the second inning, a four to nothing lead for Florence. And he's gonna do the same here. So Robertson frustrated, he can't figure Jagger out, but Jagger's figured him out. And got some more momentum on a slide. 0-2, oh, got him swinging, strike three. So Jagger has a really good bounce back inning. They go one, two, three. We go to the bottom of inning number three. A four. Fly ball into right center field. This ball's traveling back towards the scoreboard. Gone! Jackson Cherry continues to be white hot at the plate. And it's four to three. Flamingo's lead has been trimmed down to one. 106 miles an hour off the wood. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Bomb. Return two on the 0-2. Oh, he got rung up on it. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! Thought Carson might have caught a break there. Looked a little low, but Jagger able to earn the favor of the home plate umpire. And there's one away. Pretty good from up here. And ball four. So Bobby Eddy takes four straight balls and steps on first base. So a pair of free passes and man, looks like Coach Easton's gonna make the call and he is. Jagger was doing so well. He had bounced back really well after a rough couple of innings and just unable to find that last strike to Ethan Harden. So it looks like Connor Hill's gonna come into the ball game. And he'll come in with a little bit of traffic on. Runner in scoring position, a runner on first, a 4-3 lead for Florence. Hill fires. Fly ball into left field. Over his cherry. And the bacon get out of it. Woo! One run comes across the score, but that's all there is. Go to the bottom half of the fourth inning where the bacon look to get that run back and much more. It is a 5-3 ball game. That one's over to Robertson in right field. He can't get it. RBI single for Jared Jenkins. Here it is. Fly ball into center field. This is going to tie the game. Going back now is Rogers. He makes the grab. Jenkins races home. Minzie's also going to third. They both advance, and we are tied. Jackson Cherry picks up his fourth RBI. One, two, and that ricochets off the catcher, cries it, here comes Minzy, the Bacon are in front. Base is loaded, still no one out. And a 6-6 ball game now. First pitch to Harden, and it gets past Hicks, here comes the runner, the throw back to Hill at home play, there will be no throw. And the Left field. Jackson Cherry coming in, Clifford goes out. Did Clifford hang on to the ball? He did! The umpire was signaling down there. Off the end of the bat. 
Here he comes home, flip to the catcher, he gets past him. And now Brown at first base, giving RBI. One, two. Ring him up, cha-ching, cha-ching, strike three. And it's number five, Bryson Schultz, double steal, third on to third, and they didn't get him. Make it five steals on the night for Antonio Brown. Oh my goodness. Then 3-1. There's a liner into the gap, beats it. Brown could crawl home. Here comes Jenkins. He's going to score. Mason Minzy with a go ahead, two RBI double. One count. Down the right field line, trouble. Into the corner, race around second, and getting home is Alex Rogers. Just now getting to the ball is Jackson Holder. Robertson's digging around the second base bag. He's going to get into third base with an RBI triple. Up the middle, base hit, and the game is tied. One on the way from Frank. Fly ball, center field. Brown's tracking it. He's got it, and the Bacon are going to the bottom of the ninth inning looking for a walk-off. Three one on the way to Mason Minzy. And it's ball four. So the Bacon are gonna put the winning run on base. First pitch from Schultz. That one's ripped through the hole. That's running to the corner. Orlando's racing around second base. Jackson Cherry, a big turnaround first, and they're on the corners with two down. However, it's going to need a big, big hit from Jackson Holder to send us home. One, two on the way. There's a shot to Robertson. Robertson can't get it. The Bacon are going to walk it off again. Jackson Holder, have a night. Woo-hoo-hoo. And the Bacon. Get the July 4th barbecue started. Flamingo's on the grill.